parents, families, and friends of our Westmont Junior High School 8th grade students. I'd like to welcome you all to the 2014 graduation ceremony. I also want to welcome the members of the Board of Education, Superintendent Mr. Kevin Carey, the CUSD 201 and the Deaf and Hard of Hearing Administration, and our faculty and staff. Thank you to Mr. Balderman and the Westmont High School Administration and staff for supporting us tonight and sharing your auditorium with its fine air conditioning system and <laughs> and for most of us, very comfortable seats. Please check your cell phone to make sure it is turned off at this time. This is pretty exciting. And now, I would like to welcome the Westmont Junior High School graduating class of 2014. Ms. Fisher, please, with your seventh grade band, begin the processional.
We have an anxious group of students, and they are more ready to begin the ceremony than ever before and demonstrate to you all the respectful and responsible behavior that we have come to expect at Westmont Junior High School graduation ceremonies. I would like to thank those responsible because there's many behind the scenes that have made this evening possible. Mrs. Pollan, Mrs. Walker, Mrs. Centeno, our office, the district tech department, Ms. Quattrone, Mr. Nillis, the faculty and staff, especially the eighth grade team, and our Westmont Junior High School PTO. They've done so much. Thank you, all of your roles were essential. Round of applause for that, please, thank you. At this time, will everyone please rise and join us in the playing and the singing of the national anthem led by Mr. Tom L. Faust. Thank you, Mr. Faust and Ms. Kruger for playing. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce an amazing young man, the president of the student council at Westmont Junior High School, Ian Ryan. He's here to give this year's commencement address. Ian. Thank you, Mr. Jonak. Welcome graduates, parents, families, staff, and Westmont community. Thank you for being here today. It means a lot that you all came to see us and we all hope you guys have a wonderful time. Graduates, wow, we are finally here. The day we have been waiting for, maybe even for a while now. Ms. Walsh, this has been one of the most difficult yet memorable assignments I've ever written. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to give this speech. And also thank you to Mrs. Barnes, Ms. Bartos, Mr. Sherry, Mr. Prisney, Mrs. Johnson, Mr. Faust, Ms. Fisher, Ms. Rutger, Mr. Lanigan, Ms. Hillert, and Mr. Cornaccia for making my and all my classmates eighth grade year the best. People say transitioning from middle school to high school isn't such a big deal, but it is. We are going to the greatest point in our life. We are finally going to high school. Even though we might change or we, or we might drift apart in high school, we are right now together the class of 2014. Doesn't it sound scary and overwhelming? We are going into high school. Look around you, we grew up with each other. Now we're advancing to the next four years of our lives. Some of us going to Westmont High School while, while others continuing their journey at another high school. I bet we are all excited to leave. We won't miss all the, all the homework, doing long projects, especially decades, dealing with, <laughs> dealing with friends and teachers and trying to fit everything into one day. Let's all agree we're all happy that's over until we get to high school.
but that's okay since we went through all the hard work in junior high and we learned to be respectful and responsible, we are prepared for the tasks that come upon us. Junior high, junior high helped us to get to where we are right now. High school is a big step for us. Remember how scared we were in sixth grade? We survived and we made it to our graduation. In a few moments when they call our names, think to yourself, this is it. That was our junior high experience and now new memories are waiting for us. Congratulations, class of 2014. Ian, that's well done, and uh, I don't really want to follow it, to be honest. <laughs> In a few moments, I will share a little bit to our students. But first, I want to take a moment to recognize the many dedicated teaching professionals who work at the junior high. This 2013 and 14 school year has been one of great change. You might have heard it from your students. This group of educators who have worked so hard to meet the needs of each and every one of our students. Faculty, our students consistently tell me about the experiences they are having in your classrooms. They're telling me of all the challenging and ins inspirational moments that they have. I'm extremely fortunate to work with you, and I look forward to the years ahead. Thank you. Congratulations to Jill Drover, who's not able to be with us tonight on her retirement. We hope you enjoy your journey and we appreciate your years of service. I'd also like to recognize another very important part of the educational team at Westmont Junior High School. Parents, you are the role models at home. Students, at this time, please show your appreciation and gratitude for your parents. Thank you, students. Lastly, thank you to the Board of Education and Mr. Kevin Carey and the district administrators for all of your support. And now, it's the message that I have for the eighth grade class. My dear scholarly eighth grade class of 2014, man, do you guys look fantastic. Normally, this is a time that I speak directly to you. For some of you, this may be our last conversation. And it's for that reason that I'm not going to do it. Perhaps I'm not ready to have that last conversation yet, and instead I'm going to procrastinate. You've never done that before, have you? <laughs> instead, I want to talk to some of the most important people in your lives, those people that you have brought here tonight, your graduation night, family members and friends of this graduating class. I recommend that you hold on to the programs for this graduation night because those sitting in front of you this evening are among the very best of us, each and every one of them. They are authors and dancers, accountants and musicians, engineers, entrepreneurs, dreamers, teachers, artists, computer wizards, critical thinkers, and yes, <clears throat> we have a few comedians. They are these things and much, much more. They are Panthers and they are scholars. They have accepted Rachel's challenge and they have swam in the shark tank. They have had a rough year medically, some of them, but they have persevered through illness. This class has drafted papers that their parents have read, their teachers have read, the superintendent has read, community members have read, the Board of Education has read, and the Board of Trustees. They have shared and published their work. They know firsthand about having a voice in change, and they know all too well what you do matters. 
They know the power that each one of them embodies. So much power to make someone's day or to bring someone down with a look, an Instagram post, a tweet, a vine, an instant message, perhaps through Facebook or Snapchat, but never the old-fashioned way. No, not through email. <laughs> they know about working hard and having fun. The dance was evidence of that. Yet they still need our guidance. Because for some of them it is clear, and for others it takes some time. But the message is in their hearts and their minds. Parents, family, and friends, your crucial mission is on the next page. <laughs> your crucial mission is not yet over because what you do matters. And it is clear from these young ladies and these young men that I share this stage with tonight that you take your mission very seriously.